This is episode 35 on the Live Blissed Out podcast. Did you know that Henry Ford once said that any customer can have a car painted any color he wants so long as it's black? Over 50 years ago in North America, over one third of all cars were manufactured in blue. For the first time ever, gray is the most popular car color in Europe. Globally, white is the most popular color, followed by black, gray, and silver. Hello, action takers. Welcome to Live Blissed Out, a podcast where I have authentic conversations with business owners and subject matter experts to help us get the scoop, the 411, and the lowdown on a variety of topics. Tired of hesitating or making decisions without having the big picture? Want to be in the know? Then this is the place to go. I'm your host, Marissa Houston, helping achieve bliss through awareness and action. Thanks for joining me. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast are for general information only, and any reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own risk. This podcast should not be considered professional advice. If you'd like to keep me fueled, head over to liveblissedout.com and click on the Caffeinate Me tab to give me a boost and redeem your bonus as a thank you for supporting the show. My guest is Donna Kidd, owner of 4Motion Brokers. With 18 years experience in the business, she has built a vast network of dealer relationships, which has provided her with unrestricted access to vehicles of all types and brands, while also developing a unique perspective on the differences from one vehicle to another. She is truly unbiased and honest. In a volatile market and with the industry struggling to meet sales quotas, it is not difficult to get an okay deal on your own. However, it is hard to get a great deal while at the same time enjoying the experience. Her success is due to her commitment to her clients through an extremely personable approach, long-time dealer relations, and her focus on saving her clients valued time and money, as well as repeat and referral business. She ensures that everyone who works for her brings the same dedication as she does. When you're in the market to buy or lease your next new or pre-owned vehicle, check out her website at 4motionbrokers.com. Today's episode is sponsored by Audible, where you can find audiobooks and exclusive Audible originals. Just head over to my personal link at audibletrial.com forward slash live blissed out to receive your 30 day free trial, a free audiobook of your choice and a commitment free guarantee. Check out the Best of Car Talk one month subscription, an Audible exclusive with host Tom and Ray Magliosi. You can also click on the link in the show notes to let Audible know I sent you and help support the show. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring this episode and allowing me to share this great offer with my listeners. Hey, Donna, it's so nice to have you here today. Well, I am so excited to be here with you, Marissa. This is really exciting to be able to share my knowledge and experience with everyone out there and kind of help them out a little. Oh, me too. And that's exactly what I'm looking forward to talking about because you are a auto broker, among other things. You specialize in knowing a lot about cars and helping people with the process. And we are in a situation right now where the auto industry has been going through some changes because of what's been happening with this pandemic. And there are people out there right now who perhaps they have their cars in their garages just sitting there, or they have a lease, or they purchased their car, but now they're not using them. And they likely have a lot of questions about, okay, what do I do? Because I still have to make my payments and I obviously still need to take care of the car, but it's not being utilized at the moment. Are there things that I need to be thinking about and what options do I have given the things that are taking place in today's world. So I would love some of your insight if you would share that with us. Definitely. Like you said, the cars are just sitting in the garages and not going anywhere. And with Colorado being such a dry climate, it's really important that you get out there and start your car, drive it around the block, take it to the grocery store, just take it for a little bit of drive. Your seals and gaskets will dry out and crack, and then you're going to start getting oil leaks and other fluids will start leaking, and then you're going to have to replace those seals and gaskets. So as long as you 
you're starting the vehicle up and driving it just a little bit, even once a week or something, is going to keep those seals and gaskets lubricated so they don't dry out and crack. That's a really great tip. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people like me who did not know that. So that's great information. Okay, so now we have our vehicle sitting there and we likely have them financed. So we're making payments on a monthly basis. And now we're trying to think about, okay, what alternatives do we have? Do we continue to do that? Are there other options? Could you share some information with us about what we can do or what we should be thinking about? This is a crazy time with the car business right now. And with so many people out of work or part-time income, things like that, it's a really great time to think about maybe refinancing. And what refinancing will do is it's going to not only potentially lower your payment, right now the banks are offering incredibly low rates, then they're also turning around and putting first payments out 90 days. So that buys you some time to get through this this whole virus and back to work and all of that before you have to make your first payment. Another option that we can look at is if you are in a really bad negative equity situation, which people hear all the time when they're looking at maybe upgrading their vehicle. Right now, with all of the rebates and incentives that these manufacturers are offering, it is a good way to absorb all that negative equity without having to take all the money out of your pocket. Some of these new manufacturers are going 0% interest rate for up to 84 months. And some of them are even kicking your first payment out 120 days. So it's amazing. Some are even going longer. Some are going to six months for your first payment. So they really want to move their vehicles. So they're sending out a lot of really great opportunities to eliminate negative equity, kick out your first payment. It's a great time to upgrade. There's also some new leasing programs that are just being introduced for pre-owned vehicles. So you can definitely get more car for your money on a lease program. And it works for some and others it does not. So I usually have a lot of people with a lot of questions about leasing if it's new to them. And then also it's a really great time for your vehicles to trade them in. I get multiple bids when I talk to clients on their trade-in because I have a lot of buyers out there and they're calling me every day. Hey, do you have anybody new? Because there is a huge shortage of inventory coming in for them to load the lots for used cars. And so it's definitely about the last man standing. And so they're bidding higher than they normally would for trade-ins right now. So it's a win-win win for my clients, definitely. So really, consumers can benefit a lot from what's taking place. Obviously, there's a lot of education involved in this. For example, when you want to make one of these moves, you're oftentimes confused. Do I refinance? Do I upgrade? Do I go for a lease? Do I trade in? What is best for my situation? And I know that you are very customer service oriented and you are the kind of person that really likes to sit down with somebody and listen to whatever situation they're dealing with so that you can help them identify the best options for them. Is that something that you would recommend they do that they pick up the phone and call someone like you to say, Donna, I need help. Here's where we're at and what you suggest we do. Absolutely. There's no charge to ask a lot of questions. I will give everyone the pros and cons to both, but mainly I listen to them and what their needs are and what their goals are so that I can turn around and give them all the different options that they would have and let them decide what's best for them and their family and their budget. That's one part that's really hard for me is that I do love that personal contact and sitting down with my clients over a cup of coffee or whatever just talking to them. However, this is one more way that I protect my clients is now we talk over the phone or via Zoom, things like that, and find out who they are and what they love and the things that are important to them so that I can give them all the information they need to make that informed decision. Yeah. And I guess it starts with awareness of what it is that we're dealing with in our current situation. Everybody's different. And then identifying what is available. What are the options that you're able to benefit from right now and which is the best one for you? And no one can make that choice better than yourself. But in order to make that choice, you need to understand things. And that's where you come in. You educate people and you help us understand the options so that then we know what the pros and cons are and we can make the decisions that are right for us. Exactly. 
In terms of caring for your vehicle, aside from once in a while driving it, is there anything else we're supposed to be doing at this time to make sure that our vehicles are in the best possible shape that they can be so that when things hopefully normalize and we're out and about again, going to and from work or doing our day-to-day stuff, that we are prepared. And given the fact that we're transitioning now from winter weather, might not apply somewhere else, but in Denver, we are still experiencing winter. And then, of course, we're going to be transitioning here to spring very soon. Are there any tips you can share with our listeners relating to that? You know, I think the biggest thing is, is definitely keep gas in the car because it will evaporate and all of that. And then also, if you do go out and you get a bunch of mag chloride on there and to have it just sit on there for a couple of weeks until you go out again is going to start eating away at your vehicle. So if you have a way of wiping it off or hosing it off, definitely a good idea to not leave that mag chloride on the car. So still doing the routine that we should be doing, which is making sure that you're washing your your car and you're caring for it. And of course, the basic maintenance things that I am aware of at least are, for example, rotating your tires, balancing, making sure that the air is filled up so that you get the most out of your gas mileage and things like that. How should people start? What is the first thing that they need to do if they decided they wanted to pursue looking at options for their vehicle? Do they fill out a form? What is a website that they go to? Could you share with us how they reach you? The best thing for people to do is one, make a few phone calls, find someone that you trust, which I know hearing that about a car salesman is difficult, but (laughs) (laughs) genuinely find somebody that you feel good talking to and that you feel like they really are looking out for your best interest. This is a huge investment. And so right now we have time to actually talk about it, research, figure out what it is that you really want and need and finding the right vehicle that fits within your budget. So honestly, I do have a website. It's fourmotionbrokers.com, which is F-O-R-M-O-T-I-O-N-B-R-O-K-E-R-S.com. I love to talk to people and to really get to know them personally. And they can reach me on my cell phone. It's 720-878-1459. The incentives and rebates are changing every single day. So I would love to be able to answer their questions and help with a little guidance of what might work best for them. And as you mentioned, it changes all the time. And so, yes, that's why I think it's very important to talk to someone like you, because what might be applicable today may not tomorrow. I do know that you also look at warranties. If people need to extend warranty programs, they can also reach out to you and get information about that. Correct. That's another way that I can save people a lot of money is through the warranties. If they want that protection and the coverage, I get it for them for exceptional price. And we have top of the line warranties that cover engine, transmission, drivetrain, drive axles, transaxles, all of your electronic key components, everything. I mean, it's just top of the line roadside assistance, trip interruption. So I can definitely go through that with them also. Do you serve people outside of Colorado or are you primarily based in the Colorado area? I typically stay within the Colorado area. I do have some clients up in Wyoming, but typically in the Colorado area. If people were to reach out to you, could you just give us a brief understanding about what should they be prepared to have? What are some things that you're going to need from them to do your job at the best level you possibly can? Is there paperwork? Is there specific information that you like to ask people? Actually, I love to just have a conversation with them. A lot of my clients have no idea what they want, but they know what they need to accomplish, what their ultimate goal is. And so... With over 18 years experience, I've learned all of the different brands, makes and models and and some of the features. I have a very unique perspective on all of the different cars. So as I get to talk to somebody and find out that they have a very outgoing personality and they love to go fast, then I know what brands have great torque and will move them quickly. You know, I get to know them and what they like and what they need. So really, there's nothing that they need to come prepared with. Okay. 
Okay, so it's not like they have to have certain documents ready right up front. It's really starting with a dialogue and trying to identify exactly what might fit their needs and helping them be aware of that because oftentimes we go into the conversation thinking one thing and then after having a dialogue, we realize, oh my goodness, that wasn't what I thought and perhaps this might be better for me. So again, starting with just the basics of really trying to figure out what your needs are. And in some cases, it might be a want. It might not be practical, but it's just something they've always wanted. And now you can help them with that too, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So really, you are a consultant, Donna, and I know that you are very customer centric. You really go out of your way to help people get into the car that they really enjoy and that is a right fit for them. And I can't thank you enough for taking the time to share with us today some of the options and the opportunity for people now to be able to reach out and really talk to you about what's out there and what they can do, not only just the situation that we're dealing with right now, but looking into the future so that they can be using the best vehicle for their needs. Well, thank you so much for having me, Marissa. I've enjoyed talking to you. Same here, Donna. Thanks for being here. That's all for this episode of Live Blissed Out. Thanks for listening and thanks to Donna Kidd for being my guest. If you find value in our show, please visit liveblissedout.com to reach out, subscribe, and share on social media. This show is made possible through listeners like you. Thank you. So long for now, and remember to keep moving forward.